watching KSL News at 6. Many Maui wildfire victims returned to their properties for the first time today since devastating wildfires forced them to evacuate seven weeks ago. Several Utahns are part of the group who will say goodbye to their homes that were destroyed. New special Shelby Lofton spoke to people on the island today. The burn zone in Lahaina is split up into multiple sections, and those are expected to open up one by one in the coming days. I spoke to a fire survivor, and she said much of the area does not look much better than the images we saw several weeks ago. I, I still cry a little bit every time I drive by. Amber Drake knows that when she returns to her Lahaina home, she won't see her house standing. There's no structure left. Like, before they put the fence up, like, I could see, like, what was left of like my water heater and the fridge. A huge fence keeps residents and visitors out and the debris and work crews in. I did see some people in hazmat suits like walking around my cul-de-sac. Soon she'll be allowed back inside. They are starting to reopen um, my neighborhood, but it's only like by a couple blocks by a couple blocks. Drake has her required vehicle pass and protective gear ready to go. I'm hoping maybe some of my pottery survived. Other residents aren't ready. They're fearful of coming back to Lahaina, just reliving that that trauma that they've gone through. Wildfire killed at least 97 people. Among the thousands of buildings destroyed are homes where people like Drake created memories. Many are are in a state of of really not knowing what the future holds. While the world moves on, it's hard for them to begin rebuilding. We do not want individuals here to feel that they are less important. Drake holds on to hope for regrowth. The trunk of my grandma's plumeria tree is still there. So I wonder if that's going to, you know, grow back at all or not. I don't know. Drake told me she wants to see tourism return to the island. She just asked that visitors be smart about where they stay and be sensitive while they're there. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.